Did you know creators are raking in big bucks by leveraging Midjourney's AI-powered art? They're transforming prompts into captivating, sellable digital masterpieces. The secret lies in professional prompt engineering, a technique most creators shy away from discussing. Today, I'm giving you a step-by-step Midjourney tutorial. I'll not only lift the veil on these under-the-radar prompt engineering techniques, but also introduce you to the game-changing face swap feature. Mastering this will give you a competitive edge like no other, propelling your content to the forefront. Ready to make those big bucks as well? Let's dive in. Starting with the basics, let's familiarize ourselves with Midjourney's dashboard. Its design is user-friendly, helping you navigate and tweak settings with ease. But remember this, always be on the lookout for the platform's latest versions. As AI tech rapidly evolves, Midjourney keeps pace with regular updates. Yet newer versions, though they might offer improved image outputs, may not be as feature-packed. Want to really harness its power? Dive into the settings. Just type forward slash settings, hit enter, and tailor the options for optimal results every time. Next, let's talk prompts. In Midjourney, a prompt is like giving a set of directions to the AI. The better your directions, the better the outcome. For example, the prompts sunset over a peaceful lake and sunset above a crowded city will give you two very different visuals. Now, with tons of users sending their prompts in the Midjourney server, Yours might get lost in the chatter. Here's a solution. Bring the Midjourney bot right to your own Discord server. To achieve a more seamless workflow, consider bringing the Midjourney bot directly into your own Discord server. It's straightforward. Start by clicking the plus button on the left side of Discord to create a new server. Once that's set up, navigate back to the Midjourney server, find the Midjourney bot and click Add to Server. Select your newly created server from the dropdown Authorize the necessary permissions and voila! You can now communicate with the bot directly, cutting through the noise, kicking off the image generation. Start with a forward slash. Select the command for image creation like forward slash imagine, then add your scene or concept. Shortly after, you'll receive a set of four images, sized at a 1024 by 1024 pixels resolution. So each quadrant holds an image of approximately 512 by 512 pixels. Let's touch upon upscaling now. Imagine an image's quality moving from decent to incredibly sharp. That's upscaling. Initially, Midjourney delivers a larger image divided into four smaller ones like I stated before. If one image stands out, just click on its respective upscale option like U4. The image goes through a clarity boost. When completed, the final product is an image sized at 1024 by 1024 pixels. Before we dive deep into the under-the-radar prompt engineering techniques, we encounter two more instrumental features, re-rolling and the remix mode. Picture this, you send a prompt, get back images, but they aren't quite right. That's where re-rolling, represented by a recycle icon, steps in. It's like saying, nice try mid-journey, give it another shot. Then, there's the remix mode. What if you loved an image, but wanted to tweak the prompt just a tad? This feature lets you fine-tune your instructions. Located in the settings, this feature facilitates prompt tweaking. After selecting a quadrant to generate variations, let's say V4, you'll encounter the remix prompt pop-up. Here, you can refine your initial prompt, adding more details to further guide the AI. This refined prompt provides another set of images, better matching your vision. Now, let's unveil all the groundbreaking prompt engineering techniques in Midjourney that are going to make your creations stand out from the rest. Camera perspectives and lighting. Navigating through Midjourney, a platform brimming with possibilities, it's crucial to comprehend the impact of camera perspectives and lighting on your final visual creations. Different camera angles, such as the overhead bird's eye view, and the ground level street view provide unique perspectives and feelings. Meanwhile, lighting sets the scene's ambiance. Techniques like rim lighting, outline subjects, three-point lighting adds depth and sunlight, moonlight and natural light introduce a touch of reality. If you wish to experiment with shadows and contrasts, key light, front light or backlight are excellent choices. For subtle transitions, soft light is ideal, while hard light brings drama. Combining these elements lets you create images that connect deeply with viewers. 
Photography. Photography, an art dedicated to capturing moments, beautifully melds with Midjourney's digital capabilities. When recreating a realistic scene, Using the term photograph is more effective than photorealistic. A helpful hint is to mention the lens detail, such as 30mm lens or 100mm lens, for better results. Traditional photos can seamlessly blend with Midjourney's digital wonders. Creating visuals that surprise and captivate. different styles. Mid-Journey enables users to experiment with various artistic styles. A prompt like Polaroid of Elon Musk from the 1990s can generate images resembling old-school Polaroid photos. Small tweaks in your prompt can lead to significantly different results. Contrary to popular belief, shorter and more precise prompts often yield clearer and more accurate visuals in Mid-Journey. Niji Mode for anime enthusiasts, Niji Mode in Midjourney is a treasure trove. This mode is dedicated to creating anime-styled images, letting users generate intricate designs. To use it, simply go to Settings and select your preferred Niji Mode variant. To enhance this style, include the word anime in your prompt. So, whenever you're aiming for that distinct anime touch, Niji Mode is ready to assist. So what are your thoughts so far? Did anything specific catch your attention? Share your thoughts in the comments. Chaos Parameter Diving deeper into Midjourney, one encounters the intriguing Chaos Parameter. What is it, you ask? It's your gateway to spontaneous creativity. By instructing Midjourney with double dash chaos or simply double dash C, followed by a number like 10, 25, 50, or 80, you're giving it a degree of free reign. The higher the value, the more imaginative and off-prompt the output becomes. Think of it as guiding Midjourney's artistic hand, but with a surprise twist. Struggling with a creative block or can't nail that perfect prompt? This is where chaos comes to the rescue, offering an array of unexpected images. As you harness this tool, striking a balance between chaos and control will lead to truly captivating visuals. Single image prompting. Stepping deeper into the Midjourney's toolset, the magic of single image prompting emerges. This technique is transformative, allowing you to reimagine and recreate a single image to align with your creative vision. To harness this power, locate an image you adore but wish to tweak, say its environment or an object within. Open this image in a new tab and copy its link. Return to Midjourney and type forward slash imagine prompt followed by the image link and your desired alterations. Voila, the resulting image retains its original essence but in a fresh context or setting. Employing single image prompts efficiently ensures your visions come to life while retaining the soul of the original artwork. Colors and parameters. Colors and parameters are crucial in crafting your perfect image on Midjourney. Colors can set the mood, while parameters let you control various aspects of the image. For instance, Double Dash AR allows you to set the aspect ratio. Popular choices include the tall 916, the wider 16.9, or the classic 3.2. And if you're looking for specific color tones, just include them in your prompt. By mastering colors and parameters, you can create visuals that resonate deeply. Blend Mode Venturing further into Midjourney's features, let's uncover the artistry of Blend Mode, a tool used to seamlessly combine images. Its importance lies in the realm of creating multi-layered visuals. To master this, begin by downloading your chosen images, up to five, but no less than two, onto your desktop. Then simply type forward slash blend. Whether you have a vivid background and wish to integrate a dynamic foreground, or you're looking to layer various elements, blend mode is your go-to. By understanding and employing this feature, you open doors to endless creative possibilities, ensuring your images not only stand out, but tell a deeper, more intricate story. Dynamic poses. Dynamic poses can infuse life into digital art portraits on Midjourney. Including dynamic pose in your prompt lets Midjourney create images filled with energy and movement.
This technique adds depth and narrative to your visual creations. Creating icons. Icons are vital in the digital realm, representing brands and applications. Use prompts like lineal icon, vector illustration, and specify the software style like Adobe XD or Figma to guide mid-journey. Include your color preferences and mid-journey will generate compelling icons suited to various platforms. If you found value in this video, consider subscribing and liking. Your support helps us reach more people and we truly appreciate it. Thank you. Stickers Amp the No Parameters feature. In digital art, small elements like stickers can have a big impact. To add a specific sticker, use the prompt die cut sticker along with your preferred background color. For simplicity or to exclude elements, use the double dash no parameter. Mid Journey provides a wide canvas for your creativity, whether you're enhancing images with stickers or exploring outcomes without certain parameters. Pro prompting. Diving deeper into the Midjourney platform, there are pro prompting features for those desiring meticulous control over their creations. First up, the quality parameter, denoted as double dash Q. While it doesn't influence resolution, it dictates image generation time. Use Q25 or Q.5 for quicker, lower quality renders. Stylizing is another impressive tool. Spanning from 1 to 1000, double dash S250 will incrementally influence Midjourney's output. At 1000, expect striking color, form, and composition, albeit potentially drifting from your original prompt. For visual enthusiasts, the video parameter double dash video offers an enthralling glimpse behind the digital brush strokes. After inputting this command, head to add reaction. Clicking the envelope icon initiates a direct message from Midjourney via Discord containing crucial details, your original prompt, job ID, seed, and an all-important video link. Accessing this link unveils a video charting the evolution of your image from start to finish. However, be mindful that the video feature is currently restricted to the four quadrant creations, excluding upscaled images. But as with all innovative tools, we might see this parameter grow and evolve in the future. Next, we've got the stop parameter. By prompting double dash stop 10 or any number up to 100, you can achieve a blurred effect, adding an artistic touch by halting the image generation at certain points. Lastly, the reverse engineering capability is like magic for digital artists. By typing forward slash describe and uploading a source image, Midjourney provides recommended prompts to recreate similar images. Tapping on Imagine All generates images based on all suggestions, whereas selecting individual numbers offers a tailored experience, reminiscent of the remix mode. Harness these pro prompts and watch your Midjourney mastery soar face swap you've eagerly awaited this and it's finally here we're delving into the mesmerizing world of face swapping technology has streamlined this intricate process with midjourney pioneering a revolutionary approach this platform elevates face swapping blending realism with ease here's how you do it begin by accessing the face swap feature at this link right here the direct link is provided in the description for convenience upload your desired image using forward slash save id and be prompted to assign a name to this photo. Subsequently, have another image ready. This is the face you aim to superimpose. Execute the command forward slash swap ID, followed by uploading your chosen face. You'll encounter the ID name field, where you insert the name you designated for your initial image. A pro tip, ensure both images bear a similar orientation, mismatched angles or perspectives, might produce unexpected results, so choose images that gaze in the same direction for the most harmonious fusion. We've unveiled Midjourney's groundbreaking features, spotlighting its immense potential for creators. Harness this platform's capabilities and crush your competitors. Please like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.